Good morning, everybody. The Lord be with you. Welcome to our penultimate celebration worship. So it's last one next week. Hmm, I think it's gone a bit quick. I know, can you believe it? But thank the Lord we've been able to be back together for this half term as a school family. Now I'm going to hand over to our ethos group who are going to light the candle for us. Over to you, George. As we light the candle today, let's think about how we need to be unselfy and love thy neighbour. Oh, thank you so much, George. That was a wonderful reflection. And I have had quite a few unselfy Good Samaritan nominations, which I'm going to be able to share with you. Don't worry, though, because if you haven't managed to get your unselfy nomination in, then you can send them in next week and we will share them on our worship video next week week as well so don't worry about that okay right i wonder who's gonna start with our star of the week this week hmm i don't know take a guess let's see if you're right over to you teachers hi everyone happy friday hope you all have a great day this week in snowdrop class I've chosen someone really special to be Star of the Week. It's someone who works hard every single day in our class and who's just always doing what they're asked. He's a great friend and just a wonderful person to have in Snowdrop class. So this week, Star of the Week in Snowdrops is Matthew Egan. Well done, Matthew. You are an absolute superstar every day in our class. You could be Star of the Week every single week. You're such a kind and caring person and you work hard every day. Well done, Matthew. Hello, everyone, and happy Friday. Welcome to Star of the Week this week for Goshawks. So my star goes to Miss Flossie Kennedy. Yes, well done, Flossie. Every single week you let your light shine. However, somehow you have managed this week to make your light shine even brighter. Um, so as always, every single day you come into school and you show great enthusiasm, everything that you do, you enjoy doing. And yet you do it with such a high level of um, presentation as well. You are conscientious, you're always prepared, you are hardworking, you are kind and helpful to your peers and friends within the class and your manners as well. You are always extremely polite. But like I say, you have managed to do that as you do every single week this week, as well as produce some outstanding writing within your English lessons. We have been recreating our story um, about the giant and you have included everything that I've asked, all the different mastery skills, and you have blown me away with your writing. So like I say, you have had a fantastic week and keep up everything that you do on a weekly basis. It is hugely appreciated. So well done everyone as well. Have a lovely weekend and I look forward to seeing you all again next week. Bye. Good morning everyone and happy Friday. Our star this week for rabbit class is someone who comes into school every day full of energy and she's always eager to learn. And that person is Abby. Well done, Abby. You have truly shone this week. Abby, you always put 100% effort into your work and this week we've been so impressed with you when you wrote a character description for a giant. You work so hard and you put so much thought and effort into your writing and it really, really shone. We were so proud of you. Abby, you're a brilliant member of Rabbit Class. You show good listening skills. You are, have a fantastic attitude to your learning and you truly are a wonderful friend. You're funny and you're kind and you always make us laugh and smile in Rabbit Class with your bright and bubbly personality. Well done, Abby. You should be really proud of how much you've achieved and keep shining. Good morning, everybody. It's Mr. Lawrence here to announce the Star of the Week. I hope you're having a happy Friday and looking forward to a well-deserved weekend break. Right, so Star of the Week this week in Kestrel class is Sophia. 
Well done, Sophia. You really, really deserve it this week. The reason I'm giving you Star of the Week is for your perseverance. You've worked ever so hard this week in maths, where we've been converting centimetres into millimetres and then millimetres into centimetres, which means we've been dividing by 10 and multiplying by 10. And also, I've been really impressed with how well you've worked, especially with me on your writing this week and your retelling of The Selfish Giant. You've been working really hard on your grammar, really hard on your spellings, and in particular, really, really, really hard on your punctuation and the accuracy of your punctuation. So really well done this week, Sophia. I've been really, really impressed with your really hard effort you put into all lessons and your perseverance on keeping going until you do the best that you can do. So really well done this week, Sophia, and keep letting your light shine. See you next week, everybody, and have a lovely weekend. Bye now. Good morning, everyone, and happy Friday. So our Door Meister of the Week goes to someone who is so mature. They are always looking out for other children in the classroom, and they are like an extra adult in the room. They are always striving to be the best that they can be and always letting their light shine. Millie B, you have shone this week. You really have, not only in your writing, your descriptive vocabulary, but how you are managing your time in reception. You are always looking out for those learning opportunities in and around the classroom, and we are loving seeing everything that you're producing. So well done, Millie. We are so proud of you. Good morning, everybody. Our star of the week this week in Osprey class is Billy. Well done, Billy. Billy, you are our star of the week this week because of your maturity and your focus in lessons. We've really, really noticed that this week in particular, you are focusing so well, you are ignoring distractions around you and you are putting your all into your work. And we have seen such an improvement in your writing in particular. And I'm really proud of all of the hard, hard work you are putting in because we know that is a really tricky thing to do. So well done. What a great attitude to end, end the half term with. Keep up all of that hard work. Good morning everybody and happy Friday. Hope you've had a really good week. Star of the week this week in Hedgehog class is Gemma. Gemma has had a fabulous week. She has really, really impressed me, especially in her phonics. Her confidence in her writing and her reading, especially working independently, has been absolutely fantastic. She's worked so hard on her handwriting and her kinetic letters are now absolutely beautiful. So well done Gemma, keep it up. I'm so, so proud of you. Good morning, everybody. Well, this week's Foxglove star is Ellis. And I know that every single person in Foxglove class will wholeheartedly agree, Ellis, that you are a star. Because you are such a great friend to them all, you're always kind and considerate. And your behaviour is always spot on, and your attitude to your schoolwork is exemplary. But two particular things this week have stood out for us. The first is the way that you worked in the partnered planning session in English. You were encouraging and supportive and shared ideas and really built that plan with your partner. And secondly, you went on to write an amazing piece of work. Not only was it a great piece before you green penned it, but then you actually picked up your green pen independently in the session and did lots of improvements to make it even better. And that just shows that super positive attitude that you've got and how much you're striving to always do your best. So very well done, well deserved and keep it up. Good morning everybody and happy Friday. As always, it gives me great pleasure to reveal our Star of the Week in Otter's class this week. And our Star of the Week had to be Sullivan. A big well done, Sullivan. You quietly shine every day. You always, always listen to any advice that we have on how you can make your learning even better. You take any constructive criticism with a smile. You work hard. You are kind. You have such creativity and imagination. You play so nicely with everyone in class. Everyone thinks the world of you and we're really proud of how you've come out of your shell more this year and you're working so hard. A big well done, Sullivan. Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to Bluebell Star of the Week. This week, our star is Nina Linsdale. Now, Nina, you have been on both mine and Mrs Brocklehurst's radar for a few weeks now. 
and we've both really noticed how much more focused and how much more effort you are putting into your schoolwork. Mrs Brocklehurst has, uh, has made me aware that you've done really, really well with three digit numbers and you're really challenging yourself with times tables, which is brilliant to hear. I've also noticed how you've been really trying to use those time adverbial openers that we've looked at this week in your writing. Well done on a fantastic week, Nina. You really, really do deserve Star of the Week this week. Bye-bye. So, did you get it right? Oh, what fabulous Stars of the Week. I am so, so proud of all of you. And we should all be proud of those who have just gone that extra mile this week and really, really shone. Really, really let their light shine. I'm going to hand over now for our hymn introduction. Enjoy! Hi guys, it's Isla Rose here and I'm going to be playing my favourite song, God is Love. Oh. 
Thank you so much, Lila Rose. And a beautiful hymn. Um, one of my absolute favourites. I think it's an absolute corker, that one. OK, so shall we find out who our half sticker books are? OK, if you'd like to stand up in your class, give them a round of applause. Yay! Halfway there, guys. Halfway there. OK, so let's have a look at our full sticker books and maybe some other achievements. points. Which means first place goes to Beeston! With 848 house points. Before we go, hold on Beeston. Before we go, any words of wisdom? Well, we've won, is that four times now? Oh, yeah, four times and we've lost one. Yeah. So that means we're doing very well. Peckerton has bounced back. You're in second. Good job, Peckerton. How, how do you reply, Johnny? We have we're going up and up, so I think on the last week we can get the highest score, which is first. Um, we started like amazingly, so even if we do don't do as well this week, still try hard. But even though we don't do as well, we still have a chance of winning. All I have is keep trying, <laughs> keep trying, get try, any try, points, try. put them on. And if you have any suggestions, tell them to your teachers. But. Now it's time to say goodbye, so bye. bye! Oh, absolutely fantastic, guys. Well done. So, it's that time. We love this time, don't we? Shall we see who's made it into the very exclusive Golden Book? Let's see. I have Ava Rose, Grace Rimmer, Lucy Clement, Max Kennedy, Rupert Woodhouse and Oliver Biscuit, sir, for their fantastic wanted posters for Bodicea. I have Harper Bishton for PE, Gemma Still for her writing, Willow Rimmer, Freddie Skeldon, Grace Bentley and Georgia for their independent times table work, Jack Mullins for your wonderful diary entry, Oliver Roberts for your effort and concentration in phonics with Mrs Robbins, Henry Bing for your fantastic progress in phonics with Mrs Robbins. Lucy Crofts and Felicity Henry for understanding and clear explanations in your maths work. Lucas Dawson for your fantastic focus in maths. Sebby Forrester for independently editing your own work. Henry Lowe for helping others. Isla Rose for independent writing. Lucy Holden for bringing her smile to class. Logan Lappin, Esme McClements, Esme Sharma, Hashim Khan and Elsie Jones for their fantastic independent writing. Mrs Booth for your generosity and kindness. Sam Stockton, great manners around school all the time. For Lila Rose Crofts for your kindness at playtimes. Rupert Woodhouse, your enthusiasm in science. Daisy McCauley, your fab Gudwana design. I do hope I've said that right. Harry Thompson, for your determination. You have impressed us all so, so much, Harry. Well done. Billy Hollingshead for his writing. Daniel Cooper for his selfish giant story that you did at home. Willow Lee Stockton for your use of speech. Lauren Randalls for your writing. Mrs O'Dwyer for your unwavering positivity, whatever challenges are in your path. Alice Mills for your writing and your independent green pen work. Roman Horton for your focus in writing. Miss Jones for your generosity and kindness too. 
Wow, there's some really unselfie things happening in the Golden Book, isn't there? Noah Baldwin for your attitude to writing. Mia Cholton for your maths confidence. Ivy Laws for independent writing. Millie Bumper for being a fantastic friend. Martha Reed for retelling The Selfish Giant. Alfie Jones for your positive attitude. Sophia Gallagher for your hard work in English. Charlie Hollingshead for your perseverance in maths. Jude McGurk for your fantastic focus and effort in RE. Philip Sprenger, Jack Herity and Lucy Scaife for your fantastic focus and efforts in writing. And I've got all of our wonderful middays for giving us a playtime, whatever the weather. I mean, May, May weather, it's supposed to be a bit more summery. Ah, oh, well. The middays really do make it special. Well done to everyone in our golden book. Right, I have. I'm going to keep that one. That was the first Good Samaritan Unselfie challenge I got in, but I'm actually going to share that with you last. So let's see who we have. We have Tamadi. Thank you for looking after me when I grazed my knee. You're always there for me if I'm sad or hurt myself. I've got an unselfie nomination for Heather for always putting a smile on her friends' faces. I've got an unselfie nomination for Jake Cheers for being so kind and generous. Absolutely lovely. I've got an unselfie card for Evie Stanton that says thanks to you for when this person had four bites on her ankle you really looked after her this one's for poppy forster for being nice at lunchtime and helping all the time when people get hurt and when they're sad and always being there when you're needed this is for charles because he was there when they fell over and they, Charles helped them up and checked if they were okay. For Innes, for helping to find someone's coat when they lost it at the end of break. To Ellis, always passing the football and making me smile. Well done. Brilliant. I've got Sophia Bing for cheering her friends up when they're sad. And I've got Ellis, again, for always passing the ball in football and being a great friend and never being selfish. Then, our unselfie challenge, the first one to come in. So this was sent in to someone for being a really, really good Samaritan to the world's poorest people. It was this person who decided by themselves that he was going to set up his own Christian aid stall. And he did it. He set it up. He was at the stall for two days, solid, selling all the things on his stall. And he raised £75, which he then donated to Christian aid. So that will support the poorest people in the world. And that is an unselfie nomination for Innes. Well done, Innes. We're really proud of you. Give them all a round of applause. Yay. Oh, absolutely fabulous. So the unselfie challenge is still open. If you want to send one of our Good Samaritan cards to someone who you've noticed being unselfie and thinking of others before they think of themselves, then write your nomination and it can make its way to me and it'll be in next week's Golden Book. Then once I've read them out, I will then pass them on to the people who've been nominated. So wonderful to see. Well done. I would now like to invite you all to join us in prayer with our ethos group. Please put your hands together and close your eyes. Thank you, God, for peace and happiness, health and joy. Thank you, God, for new life, plants and animals. Thank you, God, for love. Amen. Amen. 
And now we say together the prayer that our son Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. The vine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Now Sky will blow out the candle. <gasps> Thank you, Ethos Group, for those beautiful prayers to end our worship. Okay, well, have a lovely weekend, everyone. Let's hope that the rain decides to, I don't know, give us a rest, shall we say? It does make the world look beautiful. All the dew on the grass and the jewels of rain dripping off the tree. It looks stunning. However, a little bit of sunshine in between would be nice. So, Let's hope that that sunshine comes to visit us. But remember, even if there's no sunshine, you guys can let your light shine and you can fill your classrooms with your own sunshine that comes from everything that you do. Don't forget, think about those others before you think of yourself. We're still looking for those unselfie nominations. Have a great week, everyone. Enjoy your weekend. I'll see you Monday. Bye.
First place goes to... Okay, sorry, stop. How do they do? Sorry, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> <laughs> I said hi. Let's so we stop. Pull the leads. Pull the leads. Don't forget to put your house points on. <laughs> As we light the candle today, let us think how um, we need to love thy neighbour. Guy will blow out the candle. Why <laughs> 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 did you laugh? <laughs> now Sky will blow out the candle.